How's everybody doing? Mike here, the channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we're going to get a look at the two years that Panini made one of my favorite releases, which was Mosaic. You can still find this product a part of the Chronicles checklist, at least you could in 2023, but not the same for me. In 2021 and 2022, it was its own thing, so we're going to get a look at both years with some, now this, it's called a hanger box, but in 2022, they changed it to just say a hanger pack. So right off the bat, which of these two do you think is going to win in this little showdown? Certainly a better checklist for the rookies. Comes out of 2022, but you never know. All it takes is that one parallel or autograph to change things. We're going to open both of these, as well as these two 2021 bonus packs. These are from a retail mega box. I thought it'd be fun just to include a couple bonus packs. I typically don't have luck with these, but today we could certainly change things. And if we're going to open them, we're going to open two. So, all right, let's put those off to the side, let them warm up. I think we'll start with the underdog, which is 2021. Go ahead and get the on deck circle set up for the best catch. You can play along at home. Let me know what card you would have voted for for that best catch. All right. And let me know if you agree. Do you do you like Mosaic? It's We're going to see here, if you're not familiar with it, it is very close to Prism, but I prefer the Mosaic to Prism. That's just me, though. I know Prism for Panini is you know, very popular amongst the football and basketball collectors, but for me with baseball, Prism just doesn't do a whole lot. So there's the design for 2021. I will say, we'll see it when I open the next hanger pack, they don't change too much in terms of the base design. So we start with a Kershaw, Dillinson Lamette, Yelich, Cruz, Tommy Edmond, all-time greats, Larry Doby, Rookie, Evan White, Campesano. It's pretty nice. We've got our Prism or our Silver, Nolan Arenado. And they're going to have them going every which way. I'm not even going to guess what all of these parallels are going to be called, but we're into our parallel section probably the rest of the way. DJ LeMayhew, a rookie, Dane Dunning, pretty nice. The orange, I believe that this was the exclusive to the hanger boxes, if I read correctly, was the orange parallels. J.D. Martinez, Luke Voigt, and a rookie, Jared Oliva. It's a pretty cool launched Nelson Cruz. Producers, Juan Soto. Oh, I really like that. Big Fly, Jordan Alvarez in whatever parallel that is. We got the Glaber Torres, Will to Win. And then we end with, it's kind of odd to end with just a base card, but a rookie of Ian Anderson. All right, so a decision here to make. The Jordan, the Soto Producers, or the Prism Arenado. I like the look of this Jordan, so right now that will be the front runner. So let's go ahead and put Jordan on deck. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the landscape cards, but that's all right. Okay, pack number two. Now we're into 2022. The bar not very high. We got a couple of nice parallels of some, you know, all stars, some big time non rookies, but again, not the strongest rookie class out of 2021. So here's the design now again. Let's take a look at that base design for 2021 compared to 2022. Almost discernible, but okay. Which one do you prefer of the two? I really have no preference because I think they are so similar. But I'll just say 2022, why not? Brian Hayes, Jared Kelnick, Whit Merrifield, Nimmo, Fried, Freed, I mean, Ross. 90s stars. Now that's not an insert, I don't believe. I think that's just part of the base set. Cal Ripken Jr. A rookie, O'Neill Cruz. Very nice. Right off the bat, our first rookie is the best one of the video, in my opinion. We've got our prism here, not numbered. Jazz Chisholm. And now we're into our parallels. Let's go ahead and let's set those to the side. The O'Neill Cruz right now would be the front runner to overtake the Jordan Alvarez, but let's see, maybe we get lucky with some of our parallels here. 
the Rose Arena, and game over. Game over for me, folks. The Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card prism. So I'm going to set that one to the side just for now. Don't worry. It's going to be making a comeback here. But unless we get a big autograph or something, I think we just found the front runner for the best catch. TJ Fradel rookie. That's a really cool. Another Jordan. So we're having a good Jordan Alvarez video here. Team color match on that parallel. Big fly, Pete Alonzo, pretty cool. And a JD Martinez. All right. So let's go ahead, replace that Jordan with the Bobby Witt Jr. Green, whatever parallel, and a rookie card. All right. So let's now get into those bonus packs. We've got two of them. We're gonna let's go ahead. Why not? We'll keep two as a theme and open them both at the same time. And as I do this, it gives you time to hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe. I would really appreciate having you on the channel moving forward. A lot of fun stuff coming up over the next month or so. Definitely going to get a look at the retail side of Series 1. As well as I, ha I came across a 2022 update box. So we're going to do that. And here in just over a month, the channel will turn 3 years old at the end of March. Going to do a special live stream opening up a bunch of stuff that's significant on the channel's history. You're not going to want to miss that. So again, hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Bring these last two packs, these parallel packs, bonus packs, whatever you want to call them. Bring them a little luck. So here we go. Team color match there of Bauer with the Dodgers. Rendon. Rodriguez. I really like that Mookie Betts. Willie McCovey, I'm a Giants fan. It's a really cool card there. Rookie card of Jose Garcia. Braxton Garrett rookie. Semyon. This is like the Jordan Alvarez video. We had a card in every pack and now one in the bonus pack. Very nice. Woodruff. George Brett. Debon. Sixto. Dalback rookie. And Taylor Trammell rookie. So beautiful cards. Just didn't get a whole lot out of there in terms of value-wise. But cool factor alone, this is why I like Mosaic. I think the parallels are really nice, and you can get a card like this. So I thank everyone for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care.